Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of The Hard Count. I'm Michael Imami, and I recently had the opportunity to interview Dismet Jesuit High School's defensive back, Khalid Stewart. Stewart is a member of the 2022 class and currently stands at 5 foot 11 inches and 175 pounds. Stewart has decent size and has real ability to jump the roots of wide receivers and disrupt passes in tight windows. Stewart is also a very physical player and has promising talent within the St. Louis area, and we uh, talk a little about that and more on this episode. All right, everyone, here is Khalid Stewart. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Tell me a little about your uh, your program and what you're kind of looking to do uh, next season. Um, well, first off, uh, Dismet, Dismet is a great place. I, I really like being up there in the environment, especially the football program. We all we all into it, and um, the season coming up, I'm looking to produce a lot more than I did last season because, like, I was getting in, but it wasn't really like. I was getting in a lot, but, like, not to the point where I was, like, a big factor on the team. So I'm just working towards this season, you know, working right now in the offseason, just being able to help the team this season coming up. Um, so I saw some kind of uh, some film of you on Huddle, and I saw some some good film, especially with uh, St. Louis University High School. When you did get in there and play corner, um, I found that you had some, some definitely some great potential. You had great ball skills, good speed, uh, really great uh, ability to kind of read wide receivers and, and kind of disrupt their routes really, really well. I thought you got good footwork. Tell me a little about what you've been working on, what your training regimen has been like. How are you kind of navigating through this uh, coronavirus pandemic? Um, well... I kind of kind of do a little strength training with my trainer, um, Stefan, and um, my coach, Coach Greg and Coach Jerry. They've been helping me as far as the DB and the footwork stuff. So I kind of bounce around between them three, you know, daily and just, you know, keeping up and focusing on my weaknesses. And so kind of tell me a little about um, the relationship that you have with uh, with your head coach. So what, what is your kind of your relationship with them, would you say? How is your relationship with them oh. kind of? With Coach Stevens, yeah, Coach Coach Stevens, he's he's a he's a really good coach. He um he ain't gonna he's he's not gonna let up on you. He's gonna if he if he has something to say about you, he's gonna say it. Or he's just he gonna make sure you all right at the end of the day. He gonna he don't he don't really care about like like what you got going on or what the hype is or none of that. He just he lo- he loves hard work and he loves people who puts in the effort. And I just I just I like that in the coach because. You know, nowadays people don't award effort, effort as much. They just go to the talent, and he just he really focuses on the effort. And he just looks at everyone. And he makes sure that you're working your hardest. So that's why I really like Coach Stevens and thank him for that because I wouldn't be like the the person I am today if it wasn't for Coach Stevens. Yeah, yeah, great to hear. And uh, kind of talk about Dismet. It was it's a very very good school academically. Um, as well as it is athletically. Tell me a little about how you kind of balance sports and academics and what advice would you give to uh, younger kids in the program involving balancing those two things? Um, yeah, yeah. The SMET is really I'm – I'm not going to sit here and act like it's not hard. The academics, the academics is hard, and especially playing, playing football, you know, so balancing those two things around. But it's not really like once you get into it, like freshman year is, is going to be a little hard the first month or two, like – because you, you're going from probably middle school not getting that much work, you know, getting almost the hour to two hours of homework every day. So it's really just what you used to balance the time and just knowing different things that you have to do and using your time wisely. It's gonna you're gonna be all good. Like your your, your grades are gonna get better. Every gonna be more into it. Um. So what do you kind of what can you kind of foresee for the outlook on the next two, three, four years of your life as a as a DB? Do you see yourself playing D one football? Do you see yourself playing at the professional level? Do you see yourself kind of going D two or D three? Where do you kind of see yourself in that regard? Um. Well, mostly it's just it's really wherever God takes me. But the plan, my plan is just is just to keep working no matter where I go or where I end up. My plan is just to just keep working no matter what, no matter where God puts me, no matter what the situation, wherever, wherever it takes me on this road. Right? It's all God has. Awesome, awesome. And so uh, kind of one final uh, fun question here for you. Assuming your dreams are realized and you're able to uh, get drafted uh, by an NFL organization, NFL team, what team would you uh, would you prefer to be drafted by? Oh, the, the Rams most definitely. That's my favorite team. That's been my favorite. Some very, very cool. Thank you so much for coming on today, Khalid. I really appreciate it. Thank you. 
All right, everyone, that was Khalid Stewart out of Dismet Jesuit High School in St. Louis, Missouri. If you'd like to contact Khalid, his Twitter is at It's Khalid, and that's spelled I-T-S-S-S-K-H-A-L-I-D. And I'll be sure to uh, put his huddle link below as well. If you'd like to contact me, my Twitter account is at Imami Michael, and my brand new Instagram page is at uh, The Hard Count with Michael Imami. If you'd like to be, uh, to be on, be sure to keep those in mind, and files are very much appreciated as well. Make sure to also take a look at the Facebook page as well, at The Hard Count with Michael Imami, uh, for your parents. Get some files on there. Got some files on there from parents on there too, and make sure to uh, make sure you tell them and uh, spread the word. I'm trying to do the best I can to help these kids out. Also, make sure to uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Keep up uh, for updates. In addition, um, I'll be having some great athletes and prospects on in the future, so be on the lookout uh, for what's to come. All right, everybody, this has been the Hard Count, and thank you so much for listening. Do you have what it takes to go D one?